What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Corset Cube Draft. Hopefully this will find the 7th and 8th player quickly and we don't have to wait too long. So, I'm gonna cross my fingers. Still at 6. I'm gonna cross them. My fingers, they're crossed. I have crossed fingers. Thank you! Garrett with the 10 gifted subs, man. Dude, I appreciate you. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you! I did see that Supreme Vintage is coming back in like a week or two. I don't, I didn't love Thank Supreme you. Vintage Cube though, so I'm not actually excited about it, unfortunately. Oh, I am excited about Primeval Titan. And the, we got the best card in the Thank cube is Overwhelming Stampede, which we will lose to every time. I still think Primeval Titan's better. Garrett, dude, thank you so much for the gifted subs, man. I appreciate thank you. Dude. Interesting fact, babies have more bones than a full-grown adult. Is that true? Thank you. Do, 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 do. Thank you. I mean, we'll probably do a couple. That is true. Wow, actually, Garrett confirming Thank that's pretty, you. pretty on, on on point there. That actually makes sense. Wow. Thank you. Wait, so hold on. I'm trying to figure out why that would be. Thank you. So initially, my my theory would be that the bones fuse together, multiple bones join, and they become one bone, right? So you'd have less bones, fewer bones as you as you aged, as you grew. But maybe that's because the bones can't go anywhere. You can't just like the bone can't just disintegrate, right? A lot of the bones are just not fused. Like instead of a skull being one bone, it's like five or six. Oh, so it's exact. Nailed it. Man. Um, amazing. God, how do I do it? How do I do it? I'm basically a doctor. <laughs> the boneless babies are way tastier. Good fucking lord, super friends. Terror of the Peaks actually seems really sweet. We could take Yeva. Green creatures get flash, she has flash. Or we could take Terror of the Peaks. That's why children can fall off a roof and still be okay. You know what? I'm doing just fine. I think we'll take Yeva. I think Yeva's fine for our deck. We don't really necessarily need a red double red card here. I'll take Wood Elves. I like Wood Elves. Ant Queen. Ant Queen is a banger. Also, you get to go to Wolf from Wood Elves to Ant Queen. Leaf Gilder. Okay. I can take a Leaf Gilder. I mean, I'm just going to take all the green cards that they give me. Risen Reef, also not terrible. I don't know how many elementals are in this cube. This could literally just be a three-mana Coiling Oracle. How many elementals are in here? Does anyone know? In the next 20 seconds, is it easy to find elementals? Oh, Kerwick, good luck on your meeting, buddy. Good luck. Not a whole lot of, Why is this in here, then? I'm going to take a Leaf Gilder. Oh, Primal Might seems fantastic. Also, one of the things you miss in, like, the green deck is just ways to remove things. So, having a Primal Might's pretty decent. We might not even need the opportunity, let's be honest. We don't necessarily have to be blue. Put a creature card into your hand and the rest in your graveyard. You're only five. You're putting... Just taking Gift here. Reef is a trap. What a what a scam, dude. What an actual scam. Oh, the overwhelming stampede came back. Now we get to be the jerks. Man, Overwhelming Stampede and Primeval Titan. 
We could just take Might Evokes too. Might Evokes on Primeval Titans, 13 damage. That's not nothing. I don't know how good this card is going to be in this format, but it's plus 7, plus 7, man. That's a lot. Like, if you attack with Wood Elves, it's still 8 damage. It's basically the Fiery Confluence of Green, right? None of these cards are super exciting. Spectra Ward is pretty good. Giving protection from all colors and plus two, plus two is pretty wild. Just take harm's way. Happy belated Thanksgiving. Unforgiven. What up, my dude? Hope you had a great holiday as well, my dude. Voices singing. Let's be jolly. Dude, I get so many promotional emails during like the Black Friday, Cyber Monday weekend. It's just ridiculous. I'm usually pretty pretty well managed in my emails. I just went downstairs to help Katie with something and she has like 4,000 emails in her inbox and I'm like, I don't understand. How is this real? And then I'm like, I, I make sure mine is like empty every day. I'm like, all right, we're good. As far as like new stuff anyway, so. Still got an opportunity in the sideboard. Drawing four cards is legit, so we'll see. If you ain't reefing, you ain't beefing. Well, that's that's okay, because I'm not beefing, so. Oh, Joel Royale. Joel Royale. It's always really hard for me to say that. Joel Royale? Joel? It's just, I don't know why. If it was Joriel, it'd be easier than Joel Ray. The L between the L, the L coming between the O and the R is just really trips me up a little bit. We got a Mana Leak, if we want to be blue. Nothing else is great. We could take Ranger's Path, ramp to six, but Ranger's Path link is Forest. It's not great. It might be Joel Ray out. But we don't have any ways to draw second cards each turn either, so. See, when you like, you currently have 13,000 emails in your inbox, and I don't understand it. I literally don't understand how it gets that out of control. You either sign up for way too many promotional emails and don't unsubscribe when you get the first one. Like, if I get an email from somewhere that I don't like, I was like, like, hey, would you like to buy something? I'm like, immediately unsubscribe. I never get a second one, and I delete it. And I'm done. That's it. That's all it takes. So I, I literally don't know how it, like, you get to 12, 13,000 without, like, massively... I'm just taking Ranger's Path. Oh wow, this pack is fantastic now. Cavalier of Thorns is bananas. Since I can search for things I need, to know, but, but but you're, but but why? But why? <laughs> that's like I mean, that's like it's just it's it reminds me of like a hoarder, right? Like I feel like it's like, it's like if you're in your house and like I just throw I have thirteen thousand pieces of trash on my floor, and you're like, why don't you just throw them out? And you're like, well, I can walk around them, so it's fine. Okay, but, like, still, <laughs> why delete them? Because it's trash. Because, like, because you don't need it. I don't know, like, <laughs> because they're not, because, like, I mean, my, my, like, Google has a, you have a, I mean, like, well, for Gmail anyway, at least, you have a set number of, of emails you can have. Like, you have a set number of, I mean, obviously, it's in the thousands, but, or in the millions, rather, I'm sure, but, not, nevertheless, like, Yeah, I'm gonna take this guy. Maybe the other guy comes back. Ooh, Plow Under? Ooh, I like I also like Maze Mind's Tome. I like Maze Mind Tome a little better than Plow Under, maybe. Anyway. You will get a little 
Maze Mind Tome or Plow Under? Maze Mind Tome, Plow Under. Maze Mind Tome, Plow Under. Busy Body Lazy Bones. Busy Body Lazy, busy body, lazy Bones. Busy Body Lazy Bones. Um, I think the card drawing is good. I want to take the Tome. I think there's a higher chance of the Plow Under coming back. And also, like... I think card draw is really uh, vital. Destroy a non-creature permanent, actually. This seems really good. Um, especially because it can hit Planeswalkers. I actually don't even hate Bramble Crush in the main deck. Oh, Nissa seems better than Thrag Tusk here. Let's take a Nissa. Still nothing great as far as, like, secondary colors. I love Soren's Vengeance, but it's triple, uh... Triple green. Tomb? What Tomb? What did I miss? Did I miss a, a sweet tomb card? I'm gonna take either adept, I guess. Can we just poison tip archer for splashing black? That seems fine. I mean, it feels like green is not open now, but. Previously, I think it's completely fine. I meant tome. Oh, I was like, what did I miss it? Like an overgrown tomb? Eh, seed worm is actually fine. Especially with um Yeva. Make all our creature like we could play Seedborn Muse, untap, play another creature on their turn. Seems totally fine. No. Oh. Joreal. A little bit better with Maze Mind Tome now. And if we want to play Opportunity. I don't think we have any... I mean, Gift of Gift of Paradise casts Opportunity by itself. Thank you! Oh, what up, Crit? 32 months? That's almost longer than our friendship, Christopher. No, I'm just kidding. Chris, I appreciate you, buddy. They got Crawl Giant in this cube? No, that Crawl Giant was a Chronicles card. Which was also previously released in... Was Crawl Giant in, like, Alpha? No, Crawl Giant was in, like, Antiquities or something. Legends? Is it Legends? It's a Legends card. Why would they have Crawl Giant in here? Thanks, I appreciate you too. Man, so much appreciation. Oh, let's take them Swift, swift Foot Boots. Good old Swift Foot books. Is Storm Crow in here? No. 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 Wow, that's a lot of black cards. You got Smallpox, Vampire Aristocrat. Alright, now where are my greens at? Oh man, Bribery? I mean, we were talking about how Bribery seems almost too good for this cube. I think it's probably better than Nissa's Pilgrimage. I mean, it's just Bribery, right? No, we didn't miss opportunity. It's right here. <laughs> Guys, I'm tempted to take Golos. There's a lot of five drops. I think it's actually Golos. Thank you. I do like a Mind Stone. Handy, capable gamer. Thank you for the reset, buddy. Let me explain why my email is bloated every day. Twitch, if I get rid of it, it comes back stronger. And I forget to turn off emails for each individual streamer. Also, hi, that's fair. Okay. I kind of like Mindstone. Did I say Mindstone? Stone? 
I don't think bribery is too good for any cube since it scales with the power of three. That's a great explanation for it. Actually, I agree with that. That's what I was saying. I was saying how it's like it's more it's way more powerful in the vintage cube where you can get an Eldrazi than it is here where you're like, okay, I'll get a Cavalier of Thorns, which is really just fine. Like, it's not... You're spending five mana for it, you know? Like, I don't think it's a super oppressive effect. I kind of just like Tranquil Cove because we have Golos. I don't really think anything else is in this pack is that great. I'm going to take the Tranquil Cove. Oh, El Lenore Visionary is a fantastic hit here. Oh my goodness gracious. Bribery is very nice against all those green decks, which is nice. Double nice. Got the double nice in that sentence. Zusa. Silklash Spider Triskelion. Hmm. I kind of like Triskelion here just because we don't have that many big things. My Tonic Slime? Do we want another 5 drop? I don't think so. I don't think we're going to be door to nothing missing. Door to nothing missing. That's a sentence right there. Can we just my Tonic Slime? Does the plastic case make the comics harder to read? That's a random question, but yes, it does. Craw Giant was also in 5th edition. Wow. The things I'm learning today. I got a mitotic slime for you. Elktiris, can you send it to me? I kind of like Roaring Primadox here, actually. We can bounce Nissa. We can bounce Lenowar Elf. We can bounce... Cavalier? I don't know. It's probably just Sisei's Ring. 4 4 4, four is not super impressive. And, like, the worst thing is, like, if this is your only creature, you just have to return him. Like, I don't want to spend 3 mana. It's basically having a 3 mana upkeep every turn. <laughs> Did I get new comics? Not recently, no. Which is why that was really out of the blue. I was like, what is it? What is he referring to? I'll take this guy. Is Vizardrix in this cube? Wow, look at you sipping your little drink. That's incredible. None of these cards are exciting. We'll take Fairy Conclave, I guess. Man, this has been a rough ending. Oh, yeah, that was <laughs> Standard Beat. That was like two years ago. Yeah, I got some of the comics back that I sent to be pressed and regraded. Um, that's a whole story. Oh my god, not a single green card's coming back? This feels weird. Our deck just went from good to, like, kind of, kind of suspect. Kind of sus. I just don't feel like we got a bunch of... Filling here. I don't know, it's really weird. 12-year-old Chris loved that 7-mana 6-6 six, six rabbit. That guy cost 7 mana? Well, no, it came up two days ago because it was a two-year anniversary, so it was a memory, so I commented on it because I was curious about uh, something someone posted. Man, seven mana. I'm tempted to take Seedborn Muse out. I don't think I really care about it. I don't think it's... I think it's kind of meh. Also, this isn't as great if we don't have a black source and a red source as well, so... 
Don't care about that either. Uh, I think we're just going to go 7-10. And I don't really care about Fairy Conclave. It's a tapped land. I'm not super high on it. We're just going to play like this. We'll see what happens. I don't know. This deck is... Visidrix is a key staple in Nick and Taylor's shit cube. <laughs> wow, three... Why did it take three? It took three... Three messages to say that, huh? That's wild, bro. Sorry about that. At oh dear God. My keyboard is in the shop using rental. Are you uh, using Hunter Biden's keyboard? Anything we draw here is good, right? One, two, three, four. We have five plus. I'm gonna keep it. I don't think this format's super aggressive, and like, we have access to all the mana we need. It's overwhelming stampede, right? Like, if I get enough creatures, we just win the game. Oh, they're being the better green deck. I see. Leaf Gilder. Another forest. Okay. Well. The old five lands in hand will draw six land strikes again. Oh boy, they're doing all the things I wanted to do. So they get to play a land and have one, two, three, four, five. We get to play a land and have one, two, three, four, five. Seems fair. That's ramp. <laughs> Overgrowth. So we're just both playing blue green ramp. Fascinating. Extremely fascinating. All right. Well, but rewind is an interesting card. Thank you. I'm going to disagree with you and say that I think all cubes should have full art John Avon lands and it doesn't matter. So. We 
Peak is not a card I would likely ever include in my deck. It's like a Gataxian Probe that you have to pay mana for. I don't understand. I'm at the dark and just let me in, please. Was it anything exciting? What is this you're pushing in the living room here? What did we get? Vampy's box for Michael. Michael's box? It's his? Yeah. Oh my god. That one from his mom? Oh my god, they get to pay talent on the telepath and they hit bribery? Come on. <laughs> Come the fuck on, dude. Well, enjoy your bribery and your ranger's path. I, I'm probably... Do I just concede here? That's amazing. Like, they're going to get Primeval Titan. We're not going to have any answer for it, so... We can answer it if we draw, like... I'm gonna play it out. Like we can we could always hit like uh what's the Aether Aether Bouncer. I have to assume Primeval Titan's the best card they could hit here. Should not be a hard choice, I don't think. Yeah, they can see my whole deck. That's fine. I'm not really super concerned with that. I mean, I'm less concerned with that than, like, we're at 22. Like, we have several turns to draw, like... I can't think of the name. The freaking creature that bounces our... Our guy. Yep, obviously. Yeah, either snipe. That's the one. Either snipe. Either mana war. Come on, off off the top one time. Mm -hmm. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I never cared much for. Skies. I never played Triskelion alive. Aether Adept nailed it. That's what we're looking for. Either out a boy. <laughs> yeah, that's that's correct. I guess I'm glad they didn't hit bribery opportunity. Draw four, get my creature. When they have four cards, I don't think we win this game by double blocking here. So I'm just gonna pass. Counter Jewel Rail. I mean, we're setting up for a pretty decent overwhelming stampede, if nothing else.
I mean, this is 25 damage on board. Never wink back at fireflies. Oh, they're going to do something. One, two, three, four, five. So, yep, they get to draw two here. It's just like card we have to kill before it gets out of hand. This removes four power from the board, five power from the board, unfortunately. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's almost uh, enough to change the entire game. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. It's now twenty damage. So we could alpha. They block two of it. They go to eighteen, and then we can shoot them for two. It's literally one away from what they currently have right now. I'm unboxing original Onslaught fetch lands at the moment. That's pretty nice. I upgraded them in my cube too, to the expeditions from Zendikar Rising. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, how many times do I have to play Agent of Treachery in this fucking cube? Like, oh my god, dude. Sure. Yeah, I'm just not going to let this happen because they can literally activate this. I mean, they have four cards in hand, so all their guys become four fours. Yep. Good times. Not tap. Everything is on. Maybe they're just going to mill themselves or at 10. I'm gonna block the Wood Elves because it's an elf, so if they have like Elvish Champion, it's more relevant. I don't think it makes a huge deal, but. <laughs> cool. You know what? You got it. Congratulations. Congratulations. <sighs> so basically, Agent of Treachery is a bomb in this cube. It's, uh, it's a card I will have to face in every round along with Overwhelming Stampede. If I have a bribery, my opponent is more likely to cast it than I am. So, you know. That was such a feel-bad game. Just mushroom slap after mushroom slap. Yeah.
Sure. Cap size is not available. Again, not a uh, not a corset card. Agent of Treachery is such an obnoxious card. I lost the count of how many times I skewed. Yeah, it's just, it's not fun because, like, even if you kill the agent, you don't, you never get your card back. Whereas, like, cards like, con I mean, like, bribery is the same thing, right? But, I mean, you can take any permanent with Agent of Treachery. You can get Planeswalkers, you can get their lands, like, it's... And, I mean, of course, they, they played our own bribery against us to just make it even worse. So now they have multiple of our creatures. I mean, I don't think, I don't even know how they win the game without having our Primeval Titan on the board. Like... Their deck did barely anything without Primeval Titan. They had two one ones on the board for the entire game, and they happened to hit our Primeval Titan with their, with their talent of the telepath. So I don't know. I yeah, this is nice because now we can just go Wood Elves into Cavalier of Thorns. Right, bribery taking cards that aren't in play makes it less frustrating. I actually agree with you completely. And the reason is because there's no investment. If I spend six mana on a card, that's my turn. If you take that card, and you also put a body on the board, uh, you've not only stolen my card, but the investment I put into it. So I lost the six mana investment. Whereas with, with something like bribery, I never played that card. So it's just like, well... Okay, you got it, but I didn't invest anything in it. So it's no, it's not, lo it, you didn't lose tempo for it. And you could always bounce it back to your hand and then it's parody again, right? Like they don't have a body on the board as well. I feel the body on agent and the man investment it steals from you is what makes it so frustrating. Yeah, exactly. Well, like it, it, if a card like confiscate, confiscates the same thing, right? Like they steal your thing, right? For six mana. They can steal my planeswalker, they can steal my creature. But the point is... With Confiscate, I can kill the Confiscate and get my thing back. I can kill a Sower of Temptation get my thing back. You know? Like, all of these things have, have means to get your card back. Also, it's from the deck, so it's not a card. Right, you, you lose no card advantage when they bribery you. If someone plays bribery against you, you've lost no card value. You've, no, you've lost no card equity. They're just very different. They're very different things. And, it, and there's very logical explanations to why one feels better than the other. <laughs> well, here we go again. Oh, it's your boy. Well, I guess we're going to play that guy. Hope you don't have mana leak, I guess? We only saw Rewound. Rewind. Rewound. Oh, he resolves. What a big... Banana boy. I mean, there's a reason why fucking Agent of Treachery was banned in Standard, right? Like, the card was oppressive, and, and you know, the gameplay that it, it encouraged was not fun. Like, seven mana's not that much if you're ramping to it.
shut up and take my money. Well, one banana boy buck. Oh, they took my guy. See, this is what I mean, right? Like, now, they confiscated it. I can bounce it with either adept. And that's fine. We're having a good time. And we're going to play it again. And get more mana out of my deck. Six, seven, eight. Actually, maybe we don't. We have 18 cards. I'm going to say no to that. I don't need the mana. And, like, with 18 cards, that's nine draws, right? They're going to draw one. No matter, like, we're mono green, so I actually think it's less than less than nine draws. Oh, okay, that was good. But now we have 16 cards, so if they can draw eight cards somehow, it's pretty rough. Six, 11, 12, 13, 14. We've got lethal on board. And sometimes with the bribery you have, but yeah, like, if they bribery us, I'd be like, alright, either I'd have my guy back, thanks. I don't know. Oh, you're just going to time warp. Alright. Well, Bramble Crush was an answer to this Sphinx's tutelage. Wood Elves. Got it. Okay, they have two cards in hand. One, two, three, and they can't activate this, which is nice for us. Overwhelming Stampede is still on our deck. Do we take the 1 in 13 chance to draw it here? I think so. Okay. Well, risking it for the biscuit. I don't want to go too crazy, because again, 6 draws. Like, they could have something like Opportunity, make us draw 4, 5 with their... Uh, with their Sphinx's tutelage, uh, draw for the turn. And that's already 10 cards, so if any of them hit, like, it's just really, I feel like we're really close to death here. Nah, I'm good. Uh, I'm good. I want to maximize them. The more lands in our deck, the less likely it is to double the hits from this. Seven mana, so we can actually play both of these things. We can go Maze Mines, Tome, and Mind Stone. You rewind my Maze Mines Tome? I mean, they also have to have a card that's like draw X. Oh, God, I think we're dead. Yep, here we go. We've just been waiting for this moment. <sighs> sure. Bribery and Overwhelming Stampede. We have three cards left. I don't know if they can win from here. Yep, you got it. I mean, they have to draw two cards. 
Oh, they have to draw one because they can get a creature out of our deck. The last creature in our deck. Wow. It's actually not bad. Sure. If they can draw a card with their last card, we die. Interesting. Do I need this? They block here, they take six. They go shoot. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. <clears throat> If not, like, I was afraid they thought I had a counterspell, so, like, I, we wanted to be able to go to our turn. Oh, lord. It's the last card in their hand. Uh, well, we have one card in our deck. Three fucking counters. That's amazing. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve mana. If we're three mana shy, whether we can go Triskelion, bounce Triskelion, that'd be amazing. <sighs> yep, Sinx's Tutelage has been a super fun card. So is Agent of Treachery. So there's there's definitely been a few cards in this cube that stand out as absolutely just miserable. Um, I don't know what our last card is, but we have absolutely no reason not to find out. Sounds good. Okie dokie. That was a fun match. They won basically by playing our cards. They did literally nothing in, in either game except for playing our cards. Yeah, if only if it was Blista instead of... Yeah, that'd be great. That would be bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. The funny thing is I think our deck is good. It just... Sometimes you play against... Look at this. Overwhelming Stampede, Golos, Bribery in hand, one land. You got it. Um, sometimes you just play against decks where, like, you might not have a specific answer. Like, you know, Sphinx's Tutelage. And you're like, oh, I just can't deal with this because it's really uh, an obnoxious enchantment that has very limited answers. So, what are you going to do? <laughs> and then their last card in hand is Evacuation.
Uh, why not attack? Because I think this is better with Forest Walk, and I didn't want to trade here and risk them getting rid of the Elvish Champion. I'm pretty sure they might they might have overlooked the fact that my guys also get uh, bonuses. Unforgiven. Have a good afternoon, buddy. Earthquake for two. Seems good. Well, this could do a thing. Let's see what we're working with here. Dracu, Seth. Oh, we're still dead. It sucks. Wow, their deck seems bananas. Dracu, Seth, Primeval Titan, Cavalier of Thorns, Ant Queen. Actually, we can play an Ant Queen. Make blockers. Ant Queen might be the best. Wow, their deck seems fen phenomenal. I would love a Dracu Seth, but we we die if we play Dracu Seth. God, I really want the Primeval Titan. Yeah, I think it's actually just Ant Queen here. Ant Queen saves us. I mean, they have three cards in hand still, so. There are three creatures in graveyards. That's unfortunate. That means Scavenging Ooze is also alive here. Actually, no, it doesn't kill us, though. One, two, three. Yeah, that's right. Oh, but they know that. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just take five if you want to eat all the three creatures. We'll go to one. <laughs> what can you do? Something else is going to happen here. Oh, they didn't do anything multiple times. Guess we're just going to pass, make four blockers here. Hope they don't have a way to burn us out. And then we can try to overwhelm Stampede with their Ant Queen. That's our plan.
Oh boy. Did not see that guy. Would have liked to. Cool. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can make five, five tokens. We're at one. Yep, that's probably death. So we have to make seven for this. Five, six, seven. Block, block. If we overwhelming stampede, we have a six, a six, and a ten. If they played anything but this, they'd be at eighteen. We would have 22 damage, and they could block four of it. Again, like, literally, we have the exact way to win on the board if they don't play this exact card. <laughs> it's just comical, man. Ten six six twenty two 22, minus the four they can block is 18, and that's what they were at. Yep. Six, seven, eight. We have ten mana. We could draw our own five drop. No, we can't. We're going to have a bunch of dead ants next turn. Man, maybe they should have earthquake for... No, I guess Dorado would have died if they earthquake for three. Five, six, seven block here. Hmm. So this guy's got trample. I gotta block everything else. Cool. <sighs> Can't really think of anything that gets us out of this one. <clears throat> A planeswalker as well. <laughs> you know that's not uh, we're not dead but I don't know what our path to victory is at this point Oh, they have Nissa World Waker in hand, so we actually are dead. So, cool. Man, I thought Triskelion, Primeval Titan over uh, Ant Queen, Cavalier Thorns, and Golos were pretty decent top ends, but... Apparently, I think Bramble Crush can come out. Uh, they have two Planeswalkers, including a Nissa uh, World Waker, so I think it's probably fine here. I don't know. It's 
The same exact hand. This is the same exact hand. Overwhelming Stampede stuck in our hand all game. Aether Adept and a Sisei's Ring. still it's a keepable hand i don't know oh uh, i don't think seaborn muse is all that great we have not been in a very big position to attack very frequently so like untapping our land we also don't have too many instants outside of having yeva or opportunity so having untapped things on their turn doesn't really do much i mean i guess it's good with like ant queen if we get our ant queen it's a combo but dude That guy's good. I'd like to draw that guy. What I would not like to do is return that guy to their hand. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. I'd really love to draw any of these things that you're drawing. I have both of them in my deck. Nope, another fucking forest. Super cool. Don't really want to bounce either of these guys, but I also don't want to die to a Cavalier, so I guess we'll return it and you can get another land. Is the tempo and five damage worth another land? Probably. Just not feeling good about our deck or these these draws. I mean, like, I don't... Uh, we have a lot of powerful cards ourselves. Primeval Titan, Cavalier. I don't think we've drawn Primeval Titan. We've probably drawn it once in, like, five games. Four games. You have the same cards, but more lands. Yeah, exactly. I, I Yeah, I can't really explain it to you. I, I don't have any kind of answers for you, but... I mean, we also have Cavalier Thorns, Land or Visionary. We don't we don't really draw them. We draw o Overwhelming Stampede, Sissy's Ring, and either Adept every single game with four, five, six, seven, eight lands to four spells, one of which is a Mana Source. Okay. Yeah, obviously double Nissa every single game. So that's good.
So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll have nine mana next turn. If we can draw like a four, four, like a four drop with four power, and then attack. Could be fine, but I don't know. It's just a little frustrating. Yeah, we'll just take three here. And this guy has reach, so we can't even really attack Nissa. So we got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 damage. And we have to probably chump block or else we die. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9. It's just opportunity ourselves. See what happens. <laughs> Primeval Titan. Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We can play both of these next turn, presuming we survive. I don't think we will, though, because they have Nissa World Waker, which is another 4-4. Four, four. I guess we can chump block the 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We go to 2. And they can just act. They have 6 cards in hand as well. Like this board, and they have more cards than us. And I'm just like... We just played Opportunity, and they have more cards than us. <laughs> we played Opportunity, they've played more threats, and we still have... I, I don't get it, but... Yep, what can you do? It's called six to activate, right? Four. Okay, so how much damage is this? Like a million? Okay, they only have four mana, so they can't activate Rada. So actually, maybe we just take it. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now, I'm just going to go to three. I mean, I think one of our only chances to win is actually to, to slam them with Primeval into Overwhelming. And if they kill us with another X spell, then we're dead. Okay, um, maybe that's fine. I don't even know at this point, to be honest. We can go get Palaka Worm, which makes Overwhelming Stampede even better, and that actually keeps us a little bit more alive. Let's see if that's an option. It's a risk if it's in there. Oh, yeah, that's good. Or, yeah, let's get Palaka Worm. And everybody's get plus seven. So it's seven four yeah, I this this has gotta be good enough, right? This is eighteen plus sixteen. It's a thirty-four. They're actually gonna go to two, which is pretty hilarious. I think that's actually amazing. I think they're actually going to survive this and come back and kill us. We can deal 34. And they're going to go to 36. They're going to go to 2. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty bad. That's amazing. <laughs> so I can't get over. So we block like here. We take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and they also make a four, four. Yeah, that's phenomenal. Again, they had to literally play a creature that gained them life that turn. <laughs> that's twice, two fucking games in a row, man. Two fucking games in a row. Wild. Yeah, I mean you have it on board. I'm not gonna like fucking jerk off and. Have you fucking attack me and zero two zero two? Fantastic, just fantastic. <sighs> Once we lost to Agent of Treachery and and casting our own bribery, that was a fun game. Then we lost to being milled. Uh, then we lost to uh, the I guess the better version of our of our green deck. 
because they gained life the turn before we were going to rolling stampede and then they lost again to the to the red green version to the of the of our deck with uh another card that gained life right before we were going to I, I don't i don't know sometimes you just like sequencing sometimes you have it mostly they've had it yeah well, this hand seems good. Let's see if we can 1-2 with our deck that looked fine on paper, yet uh, performed terribly against similarly built decks. I feel like this is the most cosmic F you a card that you constantly see that you finally have in your deck. Shows up every game as a blank. Yeah, every time we the, our opponent has Overwhelming Stampede, we absolutely get demolished. When we have it in our deck once, uh, we have like two one ones on the board at the time, so what can you do? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm trying not to be uh, too disheartened by it, but it's really like... I mean, it's like... It's almost like if you... I don't know. I feel like if you watch it, it's like... Well, Jesus Christ, like... How? How? Like, I don't know how. <laughs> it's like it doesn't make fucking sense. I don't know, man. It's really hard to not feel like you're part of... Amazing. Wow. Two decks with Land or Visionary in them. This is supposed to be a really common card in the in a cube of which there is one of every card <coughs> well let's see what your six drop is primeval titan You're attacking. Oh no. Oh no, sir. I want my mana. Oh, uh, okay. Mm, I, okay. I mean, if they overwhelming stampede here, plus two, plus two, I don't think it's terrible. Of course, overwhelming stampede being the card that I've lost to the most while it's in my deck and not super impressive, um, is still a card I'm afraid of from the opposing team. I see. This is a real thing that's happening right now. <laughs> Alright, well, we're going to either adapt it, but we're not going to like it. One, two, three, four. So we can play Wood Elves into Bramble, or either adept, I guess. Is there anything else we can do? Not really. You can also just Bramble Crush the Prodigious Growth, but... I mean, like, I don't really care if they get another, another land. Okay. It's a lot of guys. 
Give me that stampede. Yeah, I mean, I will trade here because I think this card is worse than this card on the board. Okay, that's actually pretty sweet. One, two, three. Nissa. Again, this is a card our last opponent drew twice, and we have not drawn it yet in all five games until right now. So I, mean, I feel like this is kind of like our comeuppance here. <laughs> so like this is like this is all I've wanted the deck to do this entire time, and we got three blockers. One, two, three. Otherwise, we go to one, and they have yeah. We're just gonna reveal. It's going to be a rolling stamp. It's a bribery. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. I'm not going to attack here. I want to block twice. I guess we could I guess we could have attacked and then just block, block, and take three. Nissa goes to one. Or they could just cast a rolling stampede, and maybe that's the end. One, two, three, four. Six. Oh, we just won the game. All right. Well. Return to nature could be fine. Like, I really don't want to get wrecked by a stupid uh, prodigious growth. Uh, this hand seems great. This is I'm okay with. Turn for bribery if we can get it. Growth got creatures going in a chuck. I don't know what that even means. You sound like a crazy person. I do like that, but we're just going to gift here. Indian Chief from the Super Friends? Not, you know, not well enough to really get that reference. Let me put it that way. That guy's good. No, don't like that. Oh, I didn't hit a land. That's weird. I totally expected to hit a land. Well. Oh, 
Okie dokie. Well, we did hit a land there, so that's good. That's good. Drew a card, hit a land. Gonna take a lot. Don't like a big fat dum dum. Spirit Link, huh? Yeah, I'm just going to take six here. Sigil of the Empty Throne. Okay. Glad I brought Return to Nature in. Two cards in hand, huh? What are the odds that whatever we can get with this is better than the things we can do without that? Gotta try, gotta take a gamble, see what you got in here. Oh boy, they're playing the enchantment deck. Bane Slayer is good, Captain the Watch is decent. Uh, nothing else is super exciting, unfortunately. Ooh, Primeval Bounty? This deck seems great. Wow. It's either Captain or Bane Slayer. I mean, Captain puts three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine power on the board. Oh, McGimp, what up, my dude? Good seeing you, Mike. I think it's got to be Bane Slayer. I mean, we can block the 4-4s four forever. How have you been, buddy? I miss you, my dude. This guy's a problem. But Primeval Might ne Primal Might next turn should give us a little bit of a, a hand. This guy, unfortunately, having Trample is not ideal. Did they play anything this turn? Oh, they drew a card? Yeah, I think they're just looking for something. 35 life is pretty good. What, are they getting 12 from this? 13 and 15. Okay, yeah, that makes that checks out. Yeah, I mean, that's not the worst. Next turn we can return to nature and Primal Might the Gargaroth. That's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of angels. So one, two, three, four, five. If we cast this for five and hit a land, we can do this for two, which is not enough. Because they fight. Oh boy, that's... Yep, that's problematic. That was a great draw. Wow, congratulations. On having enchantment, enchantment, sublime archangel. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. I'd love to have Cavalier of Thorns so I can block one of these guys, but... Um, I might actually just have to kill this now. <laughs> it's 
this makes all of their flyers like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven elevens. That is what's known as unfortunate. One thing we can do. We can play Cavalier, get a land, and then Primal Might the Sublime Archangel. And they don't have any cards in hand, so this isn't as relevant. I think that's basically our only play here. We have to hit a forest off this, which I feel like our odds are high. Considering we've only hit four lands in X number of turns. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just barely. And this also gains us uh, five life, so... And I, the goal is basically to block uh, Elder Gargaroth with Cavalier and Cat and block an Angel with this. And I feel like we're actually okay here. Don't hate it. Alright. I'm going to get to draw a card here. Yep, that's good. When this guy does, what happens? If you put another card from your graveyard on top of your library, yeah, maybe just get Primal Might back again. Or Bribery again. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. We want to play this. Do we get just a four drop back? I don't think it's Primal Might. I think it's Bribery. Bribery just seems much stronger. We're not going to hit a land, though, unfortunately. But that's okay. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, we can maze mine tome and keep up returning nature. We don't necessarily have to bribery next turn, so. Attendant Knight. Okay. Okie dokie. Um, I'm pretty sure I just want to kill this, but I really don't know how many lands they have. Or how many more enchantments they have. I don't think we're super concerned thanks to the Baneslayer, to be honest. I feel like we can play Ranger's Path here. Okay. Bribery can tell you. Yeah, we're definitely briberying next turn. I just wanted to make sure we established our board a little bit more. I mean, if they don't draw a captain's call or, or captain of the watch or captain of the call, whatever the card is called, we're definitely taking that. But I have to assume they drew it because that's the one we want to get. So. Well, then again, I, I assume you would play it a little quicker if that was the case.
<laughs> oh, Jesus God. I mean, that's probably one of the worst draws we could have expected. Yep. So we're blocking here. We take 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. But we gain 5. We're probably just going to throw a cat away here. Just to prevent 2. Yep, that is a yikes for me, dog. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight mana. We have eight mana. This is five. This is two. This is two. This is four. Gives us six. I'm pretty sure we have to kill this. <laughs> Um, if we block an angel, we take eight, but get five, go to one. Okay, the captain is still in here. They have Spectre Ward, which would be terrible. Everybody has... Why does everyone have this Nissa? I don't understand. Why does every single match I play have this Nissa in it? Remember that time they printed one mana Sisse's ring? Yeah, that was a totally different ring. Well, we have to keep up Return to Nature. I don't think it's... worth, uh... Ugh, God, we're just so far behind right now. Pay costs? Oh, God. I think that's the end. I think that actually kills us. Four, eight, nine. So we take ten, we go to nine, yeah. Yep, cool. Hushwing Griff. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. Yep, cool. It's amazing. Fucking Hushwing Griff. Literally, again, had to had to have exactly a flying creature at instant speed. Seems good. Sure. God, can't even win a fucking game to save my life here. I mean, if they don't have a flyer, I think we're pretty pretty good at stabilizing there. Like, we get to play Primeval Titan next turn. Eventually, in two turns, we get to gain four life off of the Maze Mind Tome. Like, they have to have literal 2-1 flash flyer. Okay. Sometimes you just have to accept your fate as, like... It's not your day to fucking win a game. Like, just accept it. Just, just be like, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's not my day. I will not win a game today, so... I think I've had pretty similar experiences in this cube to you. It feels very all or nothing. And so, yeah, it's really weird. Like, either my deck just crushes or I can't win a game. Like, even though I'm playing the same cards as my opponent a lot of times, I'm like, oh, okay. Well, at least we can try to get Elder Gargaroth first, unless they have it in one of their five cards. Maybe they took all their creatures out. Oh, there's the Gargaroth. Also, everything else is still in the deck. Baneslayer, including like Baneslayer and Captain of the Watch. And Sigil is still in there too, so and Prodigious Growth. So a lot of the cards we were concerned with are still in the deck.
I just feel like there's too many swings in this cube. Like with the vintage cube, I keep saying it. I keep espousing like the the reason I love the vintage cube so much, and the reason is that like there are tons of swings in the vintage cube, but both sides have access to these broken like like cards, right? Like so, like if you do a broken thing, I have enough broken answers to stop you. If you play a Nissa. I have a Hero's Downfall, I have a Murderous Rider, I have an Oblivion Ring, a Banishing Light, I have a Negate, I have a Mana Drain, I have a Counters. I, there's tons of answers for this one card. Whereas here it's like, if I'm playing these colors, I have to play Bramble Crush in the main deck, I guess, to deal with the Planeswalker? It's just like, the... the I, the, This cube doesn't feel like it's designed to deal with some of the higher powered cards in it. What? Uh, that did not, what? Huh. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. And like my hand is still three, four, five, six, seven, eight lands to three, four spells, right? Like, so it's not like I'm actually in a, in a better position here by any means. Um... Give me that land. I need a I need one more land in my hand. Give it to me. There it is. Fantastic. There it is. <laughs> cool. Cool. Thankfully we can get there with these three cards. These three cards are gonna do it for us. Oh man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh alright, let's go to game three, I guess. And I know I know I'm winning this game, right? So it's weird to complain, but it's not because it's it's the it's the experience of the game, right? It's not just like it's not about the winning or the losing. It's about the experience that you're having, and I think it's important to enjoy that and for it to be, um, you know, to have some to have some variety, to have some variance. But you know that that, that was game three. I thought that was game two. I was pretty sure I was gonna have to win one more game. Either way, one two. Really the best we can ask for with the luck of this particular draft. But thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Let me know what you think in the comments about this variance, about Magic the Gathering, about this cube, whatever you want to talk about. I'd love to hear from you guys. And uh, be sure to check out Manatraders.com if you want to support the channel. Be sure to subscribe and follow if you're watching on Twitch. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.